Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and we are back again for the Michael Lichter Motorcycles is Art Show again at another Sturgis Rally because it continues to be one of the top tier shows at the rally. It's a must do if you come to rally. It's out here at the Buffalo Chip, and this year's theme is What's the Skinny? It's all about skinny bikes, and every bike here is amazing, but we're gonna take and pick a couple of our favorites and show you a little bit more detailed look. So this Christian Sosa built panhead caught my eye because of its lack of color. And the reason for the lack of color is everything on this bike is stainless, which is awesome. You can see every little nook and cranny, every little detail, and everything, like I said, is hand built out of stainless steel. From the frame to the front end, to the bodywork, gas tank, everything is stainless. It's also very, very compact, which is really cool. But this bike is just a small bike. It's almost like a small Sportster, but it is in fact, I believe a 50 pan head, just keeping everything real tight and compact, giving it that hot rod racer look. This 35 Crocker Billy Lane really jumped out at me because it's not your typical custom bike when you think of Billy Lane. It's one of his racers. There's actually only 31 of these made. This is a Crocker that runs on alcohol. It's only 500 cc's, but it makes around 40 horsepower, which is really, really fast in this light chassis. Like I said, not your typical kind of custom build, but it's super awesome. I love seeing race bikes and shows like this. Most time race bikes have just as much fabrication and time and forethought, sometimes even more thought to get them to do their functional bikes than a regular custom bike. So Billy Lane's 35 Crocker here, not only is it rare, it's only 31. It's one of two bikes he has in the shows. This thing is super cool. This Ironhead Sportster out of Radical Choppers in Italy is pretty mind blowing. This might be the most impressive bike in the show. Everything is just done so perfectly and hand built from just the peg mounts to the pegs to the split pipes to all the little custom touches and then the paint. The paint is kind of crazy lace blingy paint and it has like a real deep feel to it. The whole bike is just off the chart. The headlight, that kind of smooth weird cup the headlight sits in, a little flip on the tail section and of course it's super skinny keeping with the theme of the show and all the little custom like brass emblems and badges and stuff. This bike is just you, just, you can look at it for a very, very long time, come back and still see some stuff you haven't seen before. Very impressive Radical Choppers out of Milano, Italy. My favorite bike in the show is Brian Butera's 55 Panhead and he said it's styled after like the BMX GT Pro Series bikes, which I'm an old BMX head, so I love the styling on this bike. Also, handmade stainless steel frame, everything you can see, all the welds, polished, just a beautiful frame, and then 10 spoke wheels that are handmade and nickel plated. I love the nickel plating with the stainless, that's awesome. I just love the overall style of this. Very skinny to go with the theme of the show. This thing is just awesome. This is a bike that I just want to go out and ride, which is always my scale of how much I like a bike, is how much I want to ride it, and I definitely want to ride this one. Takatoshi Suzuki's shovelhead is, is placed right in front of the entrance here when you come in, and for good reason. This thing is spectacular. It hits you right in the face when you walk in. Very small in keeping with the theme of the show, but just so many details. I love the little tail section, the stainless dual pipes, the rear cylinder on the right side, and the front cylinder on the left, and they tuck inside the frame. It's got a Springer front end, but it still has almost clip-on style handlebars, keeping you down in that tuck position. The tank mounts is a polished strap that goes over the top. Uh, really cool how we did that. And he has the dual carb set up here on the shovel head keeping the thing real hot rod looking and real small and fast looking. Really, really good work and I love the color. Uh, just spectacular work out of Mr. Suzuki. The other great thing about Michael Lichter's show is art. It's not just the motorcycles, there's plenty of art adorning all the walls here. My favorite artist is right behind me, Darren McKay. If you get a chance, you're in Sturgis, come see the Michael Lichter show. You won't be disappointed. Now, go ride those motorcycles.